Hey guys, what's up? It's Fern. Welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be a very impromptu video. I did not plan on filming today at all, as you can probably tell by my appearance. Um, I've also been having a really tough past couple of days because I was in a car accident and just dealing with everything from that has been really stressful. Anyways, so I got a very exciting surprise in the mail today. I did not expect this to come so fast. Um, oh my goodness, it is my package from North Shore Tropicals. Um, <clears throat> so North Shore Tropicals is um, a shop that's run by a lady in Vancouver, North Vancouver and she sells <clears throat> rare and exotic houseplants. She also sells some regular houseplants, um, but she's the only person I've ever ordered from online. My only experience from having plants shipped. Um, so yeah, I trust her and <laughs> I'm just so excited about this. Oh my gosh. Um, uh, one of the plants in here is a plant that I did not think I would ever have in my possession just because of the price and how difficult they are to get uh, your hands on to but my boyfriend was kind enough to get it for me as an early birthday present so I'm just so freaking excited to see it okay so let me figure out how I can put the camera okay oh my gosh I'm nervous <laughs> I'm so excited okay so I'm just gonna get them out of the box here they're wrapped up there's two plants in here oh it's like taped taped down to the box as well so it can't move around so that's good okay so this is what the shipping packaging looks like um so they're wrapped in paper and these were also taped to the box so that they couldn't be moving around in there so yeah i've never had any shipping damage or concerns with her shipping so I am pretty confident it would be okay, so hopefully. Okay, so this is the first one that I got. I'm going to carefully open it. Looks like they're both in Sphagnum Moss. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. She is so pretty. Ah, here she is. So this is my pink princess philodendron which was at the top of my wish list for the past little while here um and i tried to get one the last time north shore tropicals did a restock but it sold out of my basket before i could even pay so this time i got one and i'm so excited oh she's so cute so these four leaves are mostly solid green um, and then this leaf has a large chunk of light pink, as you can tell, which may or may not survive. We shall see. But yeah, this is the first plant. I'm so excited about it. And she looks like she's in really good condition. So yeah, I'm glad that she, she looks pretty happy. Okay, this is the second one. Oh my gosh, I can see her roots there. So excited so this is the one that was a birthday gift from my boyfriend okay one layer oh my gosh <laughs> look at her Oh my gosh, she is so beautiful. Holy crap. I cannot believe that I have this plant. Oh my gosh. And she actually looks like she handled the journey really well. Also, I'm so freaking excited. Okay, let me get the rest of this packaging off of her. She is freaking beautiful so she has a large chunk of white variegation there obviously and then she has a little bit of variegation on this leaf but not much i am going to be like really stressed and paranoid about this plant losing its variegation because i know that with um albo monsteras their variegation is unstable i have a tie constellation as well that i just a baby one but i don't really have to worry about it because 
their variegation is stable and they're not gonna lose it but um yeah so i'm gonna be like a little stressed it looks possibly like a new leaf is getting ready to come out right here so we shall see but there is a little bit of a bump which would be really exciting oh my gosh i can't wait for this guy to put out a new leaf so the owner actually messaged me and instructed me to leave this plant in sphagnum moss until its roots develop a little bit more so i guess that's what i'm going to, to do um and I guess I'll just keep an eye on it and decide when it's ready to be potted. I don't really know. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. And this guy I'll probably put into water and then pot up in a few days or a week or whatever, depending on how it looks. It looks really great though, honestly. So I could probably just keep it in water for 24 hours and then pot it. But yeah, that's pretty much it for right now. I will keep you guys posted on how both of these plants are doing. So yeah, I just wanted to share a little unboxing because I have not done that before on this channel and I really like to watch them. So let me know if you like this video. If you didn't, that's cool. Just give it a vote either way. And that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much. Okay, bye.